Hey guys, so today we're not going to be building anything. I'm not going to be showing you how to, you know, build any electronics, but I am going to show you guys something that I've been working on for a few months now, and I actually started working on it way back in the summer. So what it is, is it's a library I've made called ESP Helper. And I wrote this library for my own personal use, because as you guys know, I love using the ESP8266. I use it on just about every single project these days. It's become one of my go-to modules. So one of the things that, you know, was frustrating about it, at least before I wrote this library, was that there was so much setup that always went into every program. You know, just before even, you know, writing anything about what I wanted to do, I would have to write a whole bunch of code relating to connecting to the networks, connecting to my uh, MQTT broker, and, you know, making sure that if those connections disappear, things can reconnect again, and I don't have to just unplug all my units and plug them all back in and, you know, do all these crazy power cycles if anything goes wrong. So what I did was wrote a library to basically help take care of all that stuff for me. And I've called it ESP Helper. And you're going to start to see this library be used in all of my ESP related videos because it's really useful. So first and foremost, what ESP Helper does is it's basically a library to help with automatic Wi-Fi and MQTT broker connections. And what I mean by help with this is basically take care of all of it for you. So the basic setup here is that I've created an instance of ESP helper and I've called it my ESP and I'm passing it the pointer to this home net net info uh, struct that I created. So net info is a struct type that is included with ESP helper and it basically has four sections. One for a nickname that you can give it. It's got a, uh, it's got an IP address as a string for your MQTT broker. It's got an SSI, SSID string for your Wi-Fi network. And it has a password for your Wi-Fi password. So we pass that information into my ESP helper instance. In setup, there are a couple things that I do here. First, I just enable the serial line. This is just a demo program, so it's going to print and tell you that it's starting up. And once it's initialized, it'll let you know. So in my ESP, you can add subscriptions. And so you can see here I'm adding a subscription to slash test. Now, normally when using the pub sub client, uh, you, can, you can just say subscribe instead of add subscription. And this library does support that. But one really useful feature of this library is that if you use add subscription, it will automatically resubscribe to that topic if you lose connection to your broker. And this is one of the really defining features of ESP Helper is that it handles reconnections seamlessly. I have it running on about a dozen ESP modules all throughout my house. And basically add subscription just puts whatever you want to subscribe to, tucks it away into ESP Helper, and if you lose your Wi-Fi connection, let's say you reboot your router for some reason, this will automatically reconnect to your router and look for your MQTT broker and resubscribe to anything that you've called using ad subscription. It's a really useful feature and something that I think really sets this library apart from a lot of other things out there. You also have to call begin on ESP helper. So that just automatically tries to start connecting. And then lastly, I also have this set callback. Now you can see I have my callback function and this is just the exact same callback function that we use in the pub sub client and basically all my other tutorials. And so I basically, I just pass this into ESP helper and it sets up the MQTT callback. Now we're not using that in this program, but that is how you would set it up. And now 
this is as simple as loop can be right here. All we have is just a single line that automatically just does everything that ESP helper does in the background. So you want to run the loop function as often as you can, you know, at least every 100 or 200 milliseconds just to keep network connections alive. And then a yield here at the bottom. And this just basically tells the ESP8266, hey, I'm done. If you need to do any Wi-Fi things, you can go ahead. You don't technically need yield here, but I put it in just to be on the safe side. And so that is the basic use of ESP Helper. It just makes everything so much easier. Now, I do have one other demo example that I want to show you guys today before I wrap up this video. And that is one other big feature of ESP Helper, which is its OTA support. So I've written into ESP Helper the ability to handle Arduino OTA or over the air updates. So this is the second defining feature in my opinion of this library is that it handles all of the over the air update stuff for you. So you can see that this example here is just a little bit, you know, basically we have three extra lines here. And so what we do is we enable OTA by calling OTA underscore enable. And then we set, you can optionally set a password. I recommend setting a password for all of your devices just on principle. I know I haven't added that into the MQTT part yet, but in general, you should always have a password. And then you also can set a host name. So the host name is basically what shows up in Arduino under ports. So under ports, it would show whatever this name here is. So the rest of this example here is exactly the same. Just call begin and call the call set callback. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of this library in use in basically every example I do from now on using the ESP8266 just because it makes life so much easier. It makes just any network handling just instant and easy and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Thank you guys for watching. All the code for this is in the link in the description and it should be easy enough for you guys to set up. It's just a regular Arduino library. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more tutorial videos on using ESP Helper, subscribe to the channel. I will be putting out demos and tutorials of all of these examples here in the near future, so keep an eye out. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.